This boy has a condition that makes it impossible for him to gain fat. This might sound great to many, but it's actually very dangerous. The boy cannot stop eating. 21 million views? He cannot stop eating or else? I was eating a lot of food. I would start my day off at eating about four bowls of cereal. I would have two bags of lunch, including hot lunch at school. Anything from granola bars to apples to oranges to anything Troy would raid the cupboards for. Troy? What? The size of that thing. What? I've never heard about something like this. I've never seen this. Troy was so hungry that he would have to bring food into bed with him and eat crackers until he fell asleep. Okay, so he looks very skinny. I think even the fat in his face is gone. And he eats the entire day, even when he goes to bed. I, I need to know more. Troy eats so much, his face, is just, that's the disease. Because there's literally no fat, his face obviously takes the shape of... A skull. I was eating basically a fridge a day. A fridge a day? These calories are insane. He's probably eating like 7,000 a day, maybe even more. I have no clue. His dad is like, you shouldn't do this, but it almost looks like he has to keep eating. Even when his stomach is painfully full, he keeps eating. What's wrong, bud? His stomach hurts. Because you're so full. You're eating too much. No, I'm starving. This is something so serious, and these edits, <laughs> yeah. it's like a horror movie. movie. It's like a sketch. If you eat so many calories, then you have to get fed, right? Like energy has to be stored. So it has to do with his hunger hormones because he's still hungry, but also with his calorie expenditure, how many calories he burns. I know a lot about him yet, but I think it has to do maybe with his thyroid. So his metabolism. It felt like somebody was punching me in the stomach. And when I ate pain, it went away. But I thought the pain was created by the eating. I think he has hunger pains and then he eats and then the hunger goes away for a bit, but then his stomach also gets really full, has pain from that. This sucks. Even more baffling, Troy starts losing weight. Troy was starting to get skinny. I'm down like four pounds. Where the heck are you putting all that food? Then something happens that makes Jason realize this is more than a growth spurt. Huge welts appear on Troy's stomach. They were so big on his body. What? Uh, what? And they were coming inches off of my skin. What? Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Jason takes Troy to see his pediatrician. Doctors suspect allergies. Antihistamine should clear it up. His body's reacting to something, they just don't know what. Then one day, his tongue swells so much, he can't breathe. Troy! Well, this is really starting to turn into a horror type of movie. What? What is happening? What am I looking at? In the ER, Troy is given an intramuscular injection of epinephrine that eases the swelling so he can breathe. Troy is assessed for bacterial and viral infection, epiglottitis, and airway obstruction due to anaphylaxis. But doctors can find no clue to explain what caused the attack. But nobody thought like, yo, this, this guy is eating like a crazy amount of calories and is losing weight. And so the doctors probably don't know that and the dad probably doesn't have a lot of knowledge about calories. A lot of things are going wrong. Of course, it's very hard to notice because like you're thinking like, oh, I have a kid. He's just very hungry, he's just eating a lot, and he's not gaining weight because he's growing. After three months without a diagnosis that can explain all these symptoms. Three months is a long time of this. Eating a fridge a day. Yes. 90 fridges. That's a lot of fridges. Troy's illness takes a frightening new turn. Doctors diagnose him with hepatitis and discover his liver is on the verge of failing. That is definitely a new turn. Yes, but we're going so fast. Soon after, Jason contacts Dr. Elif Oral, an endocrinologist specializing in body weight issues. I don't think I've seen anybody quite like him. What really stood out in Troy was the story about his hunger and getting aggressive and angry about not feeling satisfied. Why did the makeup team turn it into a low-budget horror movie zombie? It reminds me to this. <laughs> he has lost all his body fat. He had 4% body fat. 4%?! You can't live along like that. 4% is like the level that is like, you can't go any lower. 4% is dangerous. Troy has a rare disorder of the fat cells. It's called acquired generalized lipodystrophy. Lipodystrophy is a rare disorder where the body loses the ability to properly store fat in the abdomen and extremities. Excess fat circulating in the bloodstream ends up accumulating in the liver. Can it be treated? There is a drug. But the experiment drug has yet to be FDA approved and is still in the testing stage. So his body can't make fat. It's not like he can't make any fat because otherwise he would have not gone this far into life probably. His enzymes started going down slowly. His stomach went from looking eight, nine months pregnant down to almost normal within four months. Now 17 years old, 
Troy is back on the wrestling team at school. He's a wrestler? I kind of feel normal. I don't really feel any pain right now. He remains on medication to manage his illness. He is very lean. He knows he's different, but he's accepted it. And to get a teenage boy to accept who he is is a pretty big thing. If my dad wasn't there, I would have died. I wouldn't be here at all. Oh, and he's working out. Although he looks extremely fit, it's the lack of fat that makes his muscles stand out. Gaining muscle will be impossible almost for this guy. Yeah, you need to build tissue. I didn't form a fat or a muscle. And if you're in such a low body fat percentage, your body's probably not thinking about muscle. Walking around not having fat, it feels like constant needles are poking through the bottom of your shoe. Because he has no padding on his feet, nothing in between his knees. I've literally heard bodybuilders say like it hurts while walking. And then they found out that it's because of the lack of fat on their feet. Troy was born with a normal amount of fat, but by age six, he began rapidly losing weight, despite having a voracious appetite. I can't imagine how long he's on the toilet, because if he indeed eats so much, then he also needs to go to the toilet a lot. Which could also kind of be damaging for your body. All the cereals, high sugary stuff, yeah, it's so bad. By age nine, Troy was clearly ill. Those were the swellings they were talking about. We always think about thinness as something good, but in generalized lipodystrophy, it's beyond thinness. It's actually absolute lack of fat under the skin. So the excess energy doesn't have a place to go. Salvation would come from the discovery of a mouse that also couldn't stop eating. Yeah, but that mouse does look fat. But unlike Troy, this mouse was fat. There's something happening. It's probably helpful. And genetics is very powerful because what it tells you is that obesity has a biological basis. What that basis is required identifying the gene. In 1994, after a decade of work, Friedman and his collaborators homed in on a gene only found in fat cells. So if you injected that hormone into the blood of an OB mouse, the mouse lost weight. A normal fat cell produces leptin. High levels of leptin tell your brain you have plenty of fat stored, but low levels trigger an alarm to eat. Because he has no fat, he doesn't make leptin, so he's always hungry. And for those like Troy, who can't make leptin because they lack Ooh. fat, getting the hormone would be life-saving. Leptin can't cure Troy's disease, but by curbing his hunger, it protects his liver. That's good, that's great. He, he looks very happy. I just one big question. It's like, the fat that he has right now, where does that come from and why does it stay? Why does he not... Die. Is there like a minimum amount that is sort of stuck to his body? I'm so proud for him for just accepting his differences and isn't letting them get in the way of his life. I do think he looks pretty healthy right now. Like he looks like a fit individual. Link to the original videos will be in the description below. And if you want to see our last video, then make sure you check out this video. Hit subscribe so much link and hit that bell. Oh, and check out our free workout app, Get Fit.